So what is the difference between a magazine article and a newspaper article anyway? It's simple. Who are you? Ah, don't mind me. I'm just the spirit of a journalist. Seems legit. Mind answering my questions? Think about the readers. Is there a reason why newspapers are read more by the elders or magazines are more oriented towards teenagers? Yeah, it's uncommon to see teenagers read newspaper nowadays. That's right, people are reading what they are interested in. So, the teenagers usually want to know about what is happening to their favorite team, favorite idol or celebrity, or something similar. On the other hand, a newspaper article is all information and straight to the point. It shows everything from oil prices to car accidents. Let's look at an example. The whole newspaper format starts with a headline, just like any other articles. Headlines are extremely important in terms of first impressions. Scientific research states that 8 out of 10 people read the headline, and 2 out of 10 people read the text. As such, the headline can help with attracting people to read your work. There is one thing to keep in mind. Unlike a magazine article, you cannot add any twists to the headline to quote unquote spice it up. Get straight to the point. Then how do you write a good headline without adding any twists? Is there a trick to it? Of course, there's always a trick to everything. Think about it this way. Find the most important and interesting part of your content and summarize it with one sentence, but leave some information out so that they will end up reading it. This can be a quote from someone or a statement with an exclamation mark. What's next after the headline? Well, you need to write the lead of the article, which is basically the first paragraph of the article. The lead is important because it is the thing that keeps the reader reading after starting to read the text. It catches the reader's attention has the most important information, and answers most of the readers 5W and 1H. How, what, who, why, when, and where. To start writing the lead, you list out all the 5W and 1H, and proceed to try and answer most of it in a short paragraph. Oh, I get it. It's kind of like when you get clickbaited in YouTube, but continue watching because of one preview of something cool. Uh, I guess that works. Then comes the body of the text. The body text is simple. It's basically the elaboration and the explanation of all the things you wrote in the lead paragraph. Include the details and give the reader enough information to project the image in their mind. Just remember, in a newspaper article, always write the most important information first, then gradually include the smaller extra information. Why though? This is because they can always stop reading and lose interest anytime. You can think of writing a newspaper article by using the inverted pyramid or the newspaper article writing. That basically sums up the newspaper article writing. How about the magazine article? Is the format very different? Honestly, no. It is rather like the newspaper article, but there are other slight differences and for example, the headlines are flashier and more intriguing, but does not have to directly be related to the content. Like the newspaper articles, other differences are such as how creative and fun it sounds. Moreover, less research is put into writing a magazine article, as most of the articles are about sports, celebrities, and home decorations. Ah, so it's essentially a less serious and less formal version of the newspaper article written for a certain group of people. Yes, and talking about formalities, because a magazine article is written to be used as a source of entertainment and pleasure reading, a magazine article can include less formal words. Back to the point, a magazine article starts with a flashy headline, which can be a question, a statement, or even a half-truth to get the reader's attention. The first paragraph is written like the lead paragraph of a newspaper article. Write the most interesting part of the content and use some fancy words to go with it. That's about it, to be honest. Uh, you should be able to tell the difference between a magazine article and a newspaper article now.